Well, welcome to part two, where we're covering Netflix and how it was once the savior of online content. Netflix has been struggling. One of the ways that Netflix's competitors are beating them at their own game is the fact that Disney and Amazon both have businesses that have incredible revenue diversification. Because with Disney, they're selling direct to consumers. They have media and entertainment. They have their own parks, experience, and products. They're earning $28 billion a year from media and entertainment and another $50 billion a year from parks, experiences, and products. And that's something Netflix can't even come close to. And then we take a look at Amazon, where you've got $62 billion from Amazon Web Services, $100 billion from third-party retail sellers on their website, and then $222 billion dollars from online stores. So while Netflix has to rely heavily on brand new media and new customers coming in, Disney and Amazon, their two biggest competitors, they don't have to worry as much. And these companies are playing a global game with Netflix being in over 191 countries with 222 million subscribers. They're the market leader right now, but not far behind them is the number of Amazon Prime subscribers. They're already in 190 countries, which is only one less than Netflix and 175 million subscribers. And like we've said, Amazon doesn't have to rely on their subscriber growth for their business model. They can subsidize this with all the other ways that they're earning money. And then Disney, they're up to 106 countries right now and 118 million subscribers. And those 118 million subscribers, they're gonna be looking to purchase other things from Disney like toys or cruises or even experiences at their Disney parks. So Disney, this is an opportunity for them to open the gates to even more customers. Now the real loser in this game is the cable TV industry. The cable TV industry has stagnated and it's expected to decline in terms of both overall revenue and average revenue per customer, while the streaming giants are expected to pick up that loss. So in the last five years, we've seen the average revenue per customer decline by about 12% for the cable TV industry, while for the streaming industry, the average revenue per customer is more than doubled. And what was once the defining characteristic of why Netflix was the leading industry provider, advertisements are now coming back in vogue, and they're expected to gain prominence for the subscription-based streaming providers. Video advertising led by Hulu is the latest emerging business model within the subscription service industry. This helps not only the streaming providers create new sources of revenue, but also helps the advertisers who are looking to target a niche audience and minimize ad waste spending. So what do you think? Do you think Netflix is at the end of the road? Do you think all of its competitors are going to be taking enough market share and they have a sustainable business model with revenue coming from all other sources where Netflix, they're relying on their subscribers. Without their subscriber base, Netflix has nothing. So if you found this useful, if you found this helpful, be sure to head to outlier.com. That's O-V-T-L-Y-R.com to see how Outlier is turning investor behavior into stock market success.